All right, so let's, well, the let's, game might rewrite history depending on what so you're So first doing, of all, so. we got to do a setup, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a big stack of these. Okay. And you're going to base your setup that with the bottom row being empty and the top rows, all, all three top rows being filled. Okay. Look at the negative number and the positive number, and that is where you're going to place the guys. Like, for instance, up here for me, it's going to be a negative 5 and then a 4, which would be this one here. A negative 4 and a 3. Hmm? So for instance, oh, the case, that four. is Why negative 5 and a 4. So you're going to look for... So that's negative four and a three. Oh, so I need exactly that place like yeah. that. Negative okay. five right, and four is what you need. I found it. It'll okay, tell you cool. exactly on there. You probably won't miss it. Okay. And once you got all that done, we'll three. move on to step number two. two three, yes. Try and be like that guy from the Dice Tower, whatever his name is, where he's like, oh, number you. one. Somebody in the comments is probably oh, going to shill at me. Okay. Or, or get mad at me for not remembering his name. Uh, yeah, but he's Pop, an alternate. He's, he's not, you know, he's competition. He's not a reviewer that is now with oh, us. Oh, he's so. not competition. <laughs> he's, he's a, he's, so I don't know. He does their like. Oh, so he's just working numbers. on a dragon warrior board game. All right, really? Color that me intrigued. sounds like a lot of fun. So oh, oh, I was actually I was talking intrigued. with Clinton the other day on the phone the, about the the prototype we were playing. Alien races. Alien and races. I thought about, okay, do you remember, I'm not going to say what the theme was because it's, it's not exactly family friendly, but do you remember when you had that competition good. where we all designed your things I need one more. I need, that's a negative three, two. I don't see one. A negative three, two? Here you go. Thank you. Can you not give me the rest? But do you, you guys all good? We, yeah, do you remember when we Should all designed our own yeah, board yeah, games? Yeah, we, we had a little just like a contest for fun with our whole group of friends. What's funny <laughs> is... I think, oh, I think I have a theme that I can retheme that same style to without then having to make it, you know, not family friendly. Our next game that comes out, if there is another next game, if we do okay on Moonshell, um, is actually going to be a prequel to the game I made mm. from, from, that from that contest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Part and and the world. next one, if I ever do make it, I have that game prepared. It will just—it's a very lengthy endeavor. It's all—it's a massive. Um, See, the, game. the original one you designed was awesome, but you—you you needed somebody who already knew it to explain it because there's so much to it. Well, I didn't have a rule book. That's my main problem. Well, I, I didn't know. I did. I did have a rule book, but it was like it was too much. Um, and then I well, need there's these. There's a lot of the games. Go ahead and give me all these guys. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Are you yeah, gonna play like? Are you gonna play like this? Where you? Where you? Yeah, I'll play it like this. That way, when I hope you can, to. it's gonna be challenging. I thought they yeah, had to be. They're like gonna be coming towards. Oh no! I thought they had to be set up as it showed on there. What? Yes. Did you set I'm it up? Oh, you yes. set, you yeah. set it up correctly, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. I set it up via the board. We we all have okay. different ones. Okay. All right. Each player takes a board, puts it in front of them. Each player takes a cultist. Uh, okay, take cultist tokens. I'm just going to give you guys a big chunk of these guys. Okay. These are going to be your currency and also your health. If somebody runs out of it, then it is game over for you guys. Oh. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, three tokens with a value of, a te of ten. Uh, you're going to take two with five, three with three, and one with one. So three ten. Okay. I don't think we have any tens. Yeah, three, three ten, two fives. Oh, these are fire tokens. That's you said one one. Or... Yeah, I've got a couple fire tokens right here too. <laughs> yeah, these are not. <laughs> like, where's two the number? Yeah. <laughs> two fives. It's okay, just leave. Um, yeah, we just need more ten. Yeah. So how many threes? Okay, give me a second. No give problem. me a second. No Sorry, how many? No, it is a problem because you guys keep saying stuff. How many threes? <laughs> Quiet. Two. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It is three tens, two fives, three threes, and a one. Oh. Three. Okay. You guys don't let me get words in edgewise. There you go. There's the rest oh, of the tokens. So feisty. Well, I, I can't do two things at once. So once you guys get all those, you're gonna put them down on your board uh, right under the area with the diamond, okay? And make sure you place that so people can see. Uh, I think you can place them face down. Is that hide all them. the tens? Your currency. Yeah, grab two fives. Yeah, otherwise we're short. You can. You don't have to technically grab yeah, the exact amount. You need the right you number. You just need the right number. Got it. Goodbye, fire token. I will find you later. All right, and I'll place these tokens right on over here. And then I'd like the rest Five, of the tokens eight, nine, with you guys. I'll okay. uh, put all the madness markers in the bag. Each player draws a random mar madness marker and puts it in their madness pool. So go ahead and just give, draw four of those and give one to each of us. Well, I'll just draw them one at a time so that way. Yeah, that's fine. And you put it right on the little, right on the little uh, jewel. jewel area there. So you should have your money on the skull, money, cultists, currency. I should have a madness marker here. Okay. 
Uh, each player draws one random card. Each player randomly cho chooses one setup card. We already did that. And we did that as well. Shuffle the rest of the investigator tokens and form the draw pile and place the pile within easy reach. So I've got the rest of these guys here. And then shuffle the god powers. I did that already. Uh, choose four of them. I did that already. Put them okay. in the middle of the table. Take all the matching cards. Shuffle them and separate them. Um, put all unused god cards back. So there's actually five different gods, at least for what I have here in this yeah, uh, so you, card oh, so type. You have too many ones, Josh. You're supposed to have one, not three. I, I'm aware. I don't know if we have changed hands. Okay, so... Um, then the last the person to make a sacrifice becomes a starting player, and the player takes time token, uh, takes the time token and puts it in front of himself with the day time up. Who last did a sacrifice? Callie, you absolutely did a sacrifice. You seem like a person, you sound like a person who would sacrifice stuff. So, I'm gonna go with you. Each player takes the four basic cards for their player deck, so, and we, we will, uh, zoom in so you guys can see the boards and whatnot once we finish set up, so you guys can see all the artwork, because there's a lot of artwork in this game. Uh, so you got your four base cards, okay? Uh, the only thing you need to know is one of them is goofy. Um, the one of them is misprinted. Oh. And it's. Let me see all your guys's four. Just hold them out like this. Mine's good. Um, You've got the goofy one. Yes. So that one is going to have a night. It's going to have in the, in the middle. There's a night token. Okay. Mm. It's, it only can be played at night. Ever, otherwise, everything else is fine with it. Okay. Okay. Um, you'll understand that later. Okay, uh, now start with, starting with the last player and going clockwise, each player chooses one from the four visible god cards and pays its costs by discarding the cult tokens and then um, puts it into their deck. Okay, so here are the god cards up here, okay? And you're last, Josh, so you're going to go ahead and get to choose one of them and put it in your deck. Now I'll tell you what they all do, okay? Uh, so this one over here is going to let you fight and also increase the health of other players' cultists, which will allow them to... You yeah, zoom in? Yeah, I'll zoom in. There you go. So yeah, this one is going to increase... Um, you, it'll do damage or increase somebody else's cultist health, which is good because it makes it, them harder to kill. Uh, this guy here lets you choose a card from your discard pile and add it to your hand when you play it, and it also gives you a bonus action. Uh, this one over here is a, a lot of damage and a lot of increase, uh, but it's... Um, but it... Oh, unless you draw a card. This one actually has an ability as well. That one hmm. says, take a madness token from any investigator on your board and put it into your madness pool. So you can get madness markers earlier. This one here just lets you move investigators. It'll let you move two, uh, one guy two spaces. So movement, these are both attack, and this one here is kind of an interesting one that gives you an action to let you draw a card from your discard pile. Uh, what one sounds good? I don't know. Just go ahead. Just, yeah, they're so all good. I'm just going to go aggressive. I'll go the attack one. You want this one here? The attack one. This one here? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take that. It's going to cost you a total of three cultists, and you're going to put it into your deck. Okay. Okay, those are your cultists over there. Hey. So that yeah, the, yeah, you can hide them. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, okay. Um, and then and then I get to go, and I'm going to take. I'm going to take this guy here. Shoot Mel, and then I'm going to pay four. So I'm going to look at here. Here's my five. I'll exchange it and take a one. Okay. And I'll put it in my deck. Um, now. You're up, Max. Do you want to move an investigator and take an extra action? Do you want to take a card from your discard pile and take an extra action? Would you like to do a ton of damage at a high cost? No, give me the one that's more the supportive that'll heal. This is a really good one, by the way. And then th there's nothing that heals. I thought we didn't okay. mind if... The, there's, the, there's movement. I think you meant that one. What one? The one on the end, that. This this one will let him move one investigator and take an extra action. No, oh, that's not. This one lets you one. this one lets you choose a card from your discard pile and add it to your hand, and gives you an extra action. This one lets you do three damage to one, two damage to one, and two damage to another, or two damage to one, two damage to one, two damage to one. But yeah. they have high costs. They have a madness for uh, one madness for the first one, two madness for the second, three madness for the third. These all have a cost except for the first abilities, except for this card because it's so powerful. But that's it's very fine. expensive. Give me that. Okay, it's going to cost you three. All right, Callie, you're up. Uh, all the cards are the same, except for this one lets you draw two madness for it. I uh, will take the double movement one on the end. That's not a bad choice. Uh, with your abilities, when you play them, it can affect any investigator, anything on anybody's board, okay? So you can, you can choose to do what you want uh, for whatever reason. And make sure you pay the cost. Yeah, make sure you pay the cost. Dude. All right, I can not... I, I can now work, uh, picture worker placement where it's dragons and the goal is to destroy the most land while hoarding the most gold. Each player has a different colored dragon that each has specialties on. Oh, that goes on too long, but no, <laughs> Emma, have you played Dragoon? It's been a while since I have played, but I with used the, to own it. 
So, yeah, no, I bought it from you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it has uh, the gold, familiar. silver. No, it's fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The uh, gold, silver, right. and other different dragons. That do Shuffle your deck. That. It's awesome. Shuffle your deck and draw three cards. Um, okay. Doing this blindly. Uh, then, let's see. Goal cards. Uh, deal with each player three endgame goal cards. Each player chooses two and puts them on their player board face down. Discard the remaining cards to the box. These cards have a really good texture, like they're high quality, but because of the texture, they also kind of catch on each other. Well, they're, yeah. they're, 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 there's a prototypes. Matte. Okay. They're matte. They're, not, they're probably not going to be like this one there. Okay. It's yeah, right now, they're good quality. Since well, they, I'm not used to the texture, the texture on these cards, it, it feels a little weird, just I'm not used to feeling cards this, like this that. Is yeah. one, these are prototype <laughs> style yeah. cards, that's all. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give everybody three endgame goal cards. They're all... Oh, we got to separate them, don't we? Okay, I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to read in-game goal, and I'm going to give them to each of us. So, in-game one without don't nobody else look at her her cards. Stare into TV land. Hello, everybody. One, I'm just two. looking up, and you can all just you know enjoy my magnificently okay. freshly braided beard. Jesse, you braided your beard. Beautiful. Now Don't take your cards, look at them, choose two, and discard the other one. These are goal cards that you can um, okay. obtain at the end of the game. Okay. So you said re read them and then discard two. Yeah, no, discard. Uh, choose. Uh, look at draw three. Uh, choose two and put the other one and uh, discard it. Okay, I've got mine. I think these two. Discard. I'll put these guys here. Discard. 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 No. Oh, Draw yeah. three, choose one, discard. And they go on the board where the back Visible? Oh, no. Right, Literally okay. right where the image is. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, and you all drew three cards? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. All the rest of the tokens are, right, are done. Each player is in sector to draw a card. It has no cards in the deck. They do not draw a card. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So now we're going to get this here and I'm going to go over the gameplay so we're not going to so the very first round the first the preparation phase is skipped so we're just going to go to headquarters defense where we play uh, main action which is uh, play a card if you don't want to play a card you can pass passing means you're done for the round though okay sure. if you play a card you have to choose one of the abilities uh, there are on, on your cards here, you'll see that there's two or three sets of abilities in the top left-hand corner. So there's going to be the top left one, there's going to be the middle one, and there's going to be the bottom one. I'll just show this one out so people can see it and give them an idea. So this one here has one, two, three sets of abilities. The first one is, for free, you can do one damage. This one here is, spend a madness marker, which is on my board here, to do one damage to one investigator and move another. And then the third one is, if it's on the night phase, which it's not, right now it's in the day phase, you will be able to do one damage and move an investigator. And then at the bottom, you'll follow it up with the ability, which is to draw a card. Okay? That's what you're going to do on your turn. You're going to simply... I'm guessing there's not a, like a player card for like what each of the symbols is. Like a, a help card. Uh, there is, but we only have one right now. Oh, okay. But they're pretty simple. If it's a fist, yeah. if it's a fist, it's damage. Fight, okay. If it is a circle, an orange circle, you, that's buying a card. If it is a health marker, a little like green health, that is to increase the health of an investigator on a player's board. The foot means movement. And then you've got the fire marker, which does fire damage to somebody else. Um, and then the cultists, they have the little hoods. Uh, that is to play a, a player's cultist or another player's cultist. It's basically like the currency here. This okay. little cultist here. And that's what is pretty the much it. green, yellow... Diamond shaped symbol. That's, That's madness. The madness. That's cost. madness. Oh, okay. cost. That's a little, gotcha. Looks like a little diamond. Okay. Yep. Uh, so Callie's going to go first, though, and she will explain. So go okay. ahead and play a card or pass, Callie. The additional actions are as follows. And you can play as many additional actions on your turn as you want, but you have to play a card or pass. Uh, you can remove an outpost, which are here. We'll ignore that. You don't need to worry about that right now. The next thing is you can use a god's power. You don't need to worry about that yet because you don't have. Yeah, you should all take a, a character based on the character that you want. Oh, oh our look. I'll just grab it. I can't. I, can't. I, 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 I literally couldn't see it. Uh, that's my dude. Yeah, just shut the mouth. I'm guessing that's you then. Yeah, 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 there's only four uh, of them. You guys. Okay. Okay. So now you you get to play. 
a card. Um, like I said, there you can use a god's power, which is if your character is on a, on one of these guys on one of these guys, which is in turn when you buy one of these cards, you put him on there. You can turn your guy face down, utilizing the power once, and then the next round it comes face up. Okay. Um, then you could also spend a madness marker, which will let you draw a card, um, and as well as this other cost in the games that it'll let you do. And then the final thing is you can achieve an immediate goal. You can do that once per turn, and these are the three goals here, which we will sh we will talk about right now really quick. You can move Investigator on, a, on an opponent's board to his headquarters. So if you move a character from here down, that will hurt your opponent, and you'll get they this card. Infiltrate, basically. This one says, uh, pass with the active character miniature. And this one over here is be a first player to pass. I'm going to play my movement card that I got. So let me move uh, one of my investigators twice. Move this over here and back here. You want him away from your, <laughs> your headquarters. Oh, okay. And now this makes more sense. I'm going to put my guy on... Um, we're in this, the day phase right now. What are you talking put about? Put them on the one. Mm, how are you paying for anything? Oh, I thought that are was you, a how do you action. No, you got to pay for it. It's with uh, this symbol here. Oh, we have to buy a card first. Yeah, you buy a you card, get, you put them you on there. Them on one of when them. you buy a card, yeah. you will place your character on that, that god's power. Okay. You're finished with your turn. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. So now it's your turn. All right. Basically, all you got to do is play a card from your hand. Or I go pass, and then I take the card that says the first player pass. You certainly can do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to pass the first round. That's fine. I just did. All right. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> that is a risky move. Yeah. I have a plan. Oh, yeah. What's that one? Um, have at least seven cards on your discard pile. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a cost to, to playing cards on your in your in your, in your uh, into your discard pile, which you'll have Wait, to do when you play them. Split. I it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. either way, do, okay. do, do what you want. Okay, uh, I am going to go now, and I am going to play Professor William Rashford. Okay, which allows me to buy a card. I'm going to look at all these guys here. And I will take this guy here, Nolanthrope, and that's going to cost me two. So I will pay two. And I'll get one back. And this goes to my hand when I buy it. And then because I chose him, I'll take put him on the power. Um, and I will utilize his power as a free action, which will just let me gain a madness. Sure. Of a random color. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Dr. Rose Tar, but I can choose to do the bottom action here, yes? Um, yes. So the top one to move? Okay. I'm just going to kind of take a page out of Kali's book and move one of my investigators up one, because it's movement one. Yep. That's it. Surprised you want to buy a card. I thought I had to... So you know. that's like what that symbol is. But I can't do both, though. Nope. nope. You can't do both. You have to choose one. Yeah, I have two that are already one away from my headquarters, though. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to fight one, and I'm going to knock this guy down from four health to... The so one thing to know about the investigators, they have the health is at the bottom, oh, and then okay. in the middle is the cultist cost if they get past you. So yeah, the n the minus the, the minus number sense. is how many cultists you'll lose if the, if these guys fall down into your headquarters. Mm -hmm. The number below that is the health of the investigator, and when you do damage to them, you're going to rotate them clockwise. Well, you're going to turn this clockwise, and that will reduce their health. So right now my guy's at two. I can go make him go to one, and then he'll go away. And okay, can I change my play then? Sorry. Can you change your play then? Yeah, because I didn't know what attacking was. Um, for like the hit points or whatever. You can't attack on your card well, though. I, know, I would play a different card. Oh. Well, you'll still be able to play cards. Yeah. You'll still get to play in those next cards. So only Max okay. can't play You're fine. cards because he's passed. Yeah, he's okay. out. He's done. So. But we keep okay. playing until our round is finished. Oh, okay. Okay, so I am going to now... Oh, okay. Hmm... The only thing is, if you play more than three cards, you're going to get more bad stuff at the end of the round. <laughs> three or more, or more than three? Now, Lathotep will let me draw two madness. 
For every three, you'll get one of the outposts. And then, okay. now, because mine says action on the bottom, Callie, does that mean I get to take another one? Yes. That's correct, right? Yeah. Uh, after a card with this effect was played resolved, discard it. To the discard pile, immediately play another card from your hand or pass for the round. Nice. So I will then play my Professor. Okay. And that's going to let me do one damage to a investigator and then it's going to cost it's also going to cost me a madness and i will also be able to move an investigator and i'll go ahead and move hmm hmm i'll move my guy back <laughs> and i'm done yeah see, i thought okay. we, i can pay two madness sent to do the second ability to do two damage to that investigator sorry what yes you can pay a madness and you'll do two damage instead of one. So take them out. Mm -hmm. Cool. With what card? Yes, that's correct. Okay. How and did you get madness? You from the abilities up there, huh? Uh, I got madness from my ability here. I got madness from a card I played. Um, okay. You'll get madness when you defeat investigators, but I'll explain that when it, when it's time. Oh, I just did. I will explain that when it's time. Okay. Um, I'm gonna buy a card. Will you? Uh, yes. So the first one is you can move an investigator and take an extra action. You can choose a card from the discard pile and add it to your hand, take an extra action, do a damage, and then you do one extra damage for uh, each set of three different madness uh, tokens that you have. And then the last one is you can swap any two investigators on one board, or you can spend a madness to swap any two investigators on different boards. Oh, that's mean. Um, I think the first one. You got it. And then give me your character for buying the card. Pay the cost for that. And uh, you could spend him as an extra action, as a bonus action to do damage to you when you're investigators. Oh, yes, I will do that. I wish I'd bought one of those now. Uh, I did say so. Um, I'm not going to already play. See, so. when I did the whole pass action, I thought one round yeah, would be one that's of all why of us we're going. like, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, you know what? But this is how Three. you learn when you play games. I am actually going to go ahead and pass. There's a cost to playing too many cards. Every three, right? Every three in your discard pile is going to have a. You're going to have a cost. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to get nasty things on our board. So once you get four, you're in the second one. Yeah. I don't want to, but yeah, I'll pass. Okay, and Kelly. I will pass. <laughs> Do we have a hand that we keep or just get discarded? No, that stays. Okay. Keeps, yeah. Okay. Now we're done with the main actions and the additional actions. We're going to go to the investigator phase. Um, I got to remember. There's a certain order to how things move. Yeah. All right. I got to find it to make sure I don't goof. <laughs> I got to find my beer to make sure I got my talent juice. <laughs> yes. All of the talent juice. <laughs> All right, now, is there any benefits that we mi we didn't miss? Pass with the character. Oh. No one has seven cards, so. <laughs> okay. All right, first player to pass moves all the investigators on their board a space toward the headquarters. So everybody can just go ahead and do this, unless there is a reason why we couldn't. Um, but right now, there's no, re there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to. Um, if there is an outpost on your board, you'll, you'll, you'll literally skip that space. You'll jump over it, okay? Um, when it enters the headquarters, we'll... Uh, all the effects of madness markers on these guys are going to trigger, as well as all of the madness that they have on them will go to your pool, which is nice. Additionally, um, you'll take damage by the negative number, okay? Okay. Um, then we're adding outposts, uh, which is right, yes. After investigators move all of their, uh, for each three cards that a player, so yeah, yeah. We're going to add one outpost to our board for each three cards in our discard pile, and we cannot choose the top areas of our board. How many cards uh, in your discard pile? Uh, two. Okay, so you get one outpost. You get one, and you have one. In, you have none in your discard none. pile. Then you get none. We choose where this goes. Yes. It just can't be. The then, top after pile. all outposts have been placed out, you'll take your discard pile. You'll add it to your deck, and then you'll shuffle it. No, you shuffle. Oh, your sorry. Discard and put it sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Put your put your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Okay. That's that's the right thing. One, two, three. Okay. Luckily, I only had one card in my deck, so. All right. And then after that. What about? You 
Draw, right? Defeating or what? Defeating an investigator? No, no! Stop saying things. I don't need to hear. I'll tell you when it happens. I promise. Okay. I promise I you. Some of those ones I when promise I you <laughs> when it makes a difference. I will explain it. Okay. Right now, it does not. All so right. So impatient. Pre preparation phase. I wanted a reward for it. You get nothing. Good day, no. sir. Yeah. <laughs> you get nothing. Good day, sir. Preparation phase. Now, this is the phase we didn't cover last time. The time of day is going to update. So go ahead and we're going to flip over that time of day marker. And I believe it passes. All right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's nighttime on the, the player with the time of day flips it over. Okay, no, it does not pass. Oh. oh. The player with the time of day flip, token flips it over. Fire tokens resolve. We have no fire tokens. Uh, everybody draws one card oh. from their deck and puts all the miniatures face up. Okay. Oh, you stay on those. And then we're gonna add Damn. new. And then we're gonna add new investigators to our board. Okay, this is the other little not tricky, but if somebody else is already on that particular guy, can we still buy those cards or get? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can have multiple people on each of the cards. Okay. Two, three. Put these um, with the health side face up. Okay. Three for you. And three for you. This is gonna start sucking fast. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so uh, each player draws three investigator tokens that them to the top for this place. For each investigator, draw one during the day uh, or one during the night madness markers. So right now it is the night. So we're going to draw two madness markers and put them on each investigator that have been brought into play. Callie, you can take some okay. out too so we can speed the process. Yeah, this will take a little bit. When we fight, do we have to fight the lowest ones, or can we go for a higher ones no, first? No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, remember that after this, we're going to add up the total sum of investigators. Two more. And we're going to get benefits for that. So I have a total of three, four, and four, which is eleven. What is your all your sums? Oh, all the top row. The cultists or the health. Uh, the health of the cultists the you just put in. You played this game, remember? Oh, yeah, those yeah, investigators. I, I didn't remember if it was the middle number or the bottom number. It is... No, no, it is the health of the... The, the bottom number. Yeah. Add up the bottom number. The bottom number. Okay. Cumulative. Twelve. Nine. Twelve, seven. eleven, nine, and seven. Okay. Um, players with the highest result draw one madness marker from the bag and add it to their madness pool. In case Please. of a tie, all tie, tied players do. So you had twelve. Yeah, yep. you're one. Dang it. Okay. Uh, yeah, more difficult investigator yeah. to defeat. <laughs> and then we move on to the head, the, uh, the headquarters defense, which is the main actions. And Cal, you get to start. John, welcome, welcome. Hello. Thanks How for being here. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I did do a Charlie. Yes, I did back. do a Charlie in the welcome, Taco Factory reference. So you get to go ahead and go, Callie. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check to the end of the round, make sure that doesn't that doesn't pass. Cause I feel like it should. I feel like it might. I'm gonna pay two cultists to get rid of the outpost. Bye bye. I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's dangerous. And then for a card, I will. Um, I can't do that. It's been a bit of this one. Phase. You're late. You didn't even show up. Oh, it didn't even show up until now. That's okay. You commented. You're entered to win a free set of card sleeves. Congratulations. I will fight one Hope and you're doing I well. will strengthen someone. Okay, because it's night, she gets to use the empowered action. Yeah. So Norm, it's the okay. bottom of her card. Yeah. And let's go ahead and choose somebody. Callie, who are you going to choose? I'm going to choose Josh. Okay. Sorry, right here. So she's strengthening this guy. So she's yeah. moving him from two to health to three health, basically, making him a little more uh, challenging, challenging for Josh to have to deal with. Because it is the nighttime. And you also did happen to get a free madness marker, so it makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and you're done. Um. Oh, what, what's my ability thing that I'm on? Your ability is the same thing as before. I just one damage to an investi investigator. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. No, I really wish I had bought a card. I did tell you to. All right, I'm going to play a card, which during the nighttime phase allows me to do one damage and one movement. I'm going to damage him and then move him up. That's right. Can the movement be to move ours back or opponents forward? Correct. Okay. All right. And that will be the end of my turn. Nice and easy. Oh, and I draw a card. 
We can't, like, yeah, if we had something like this, so you can't push this one forward, though, can we? No, but have, there have to be an open space. So I'm going to okay. go ahead and play Shed Mail. Um, and I, I'm i guessing that this one's a misprint and actually requires a diamond in order to, a uh, madness marker in order to uh, utilize it. So I'm going to spend a red just because I'm, I'm fairly certain it's a misprint. I'm going to then use its ability, which, well, technically, I'll use its, uh, one of its actions, which is the second one, because I paid for it. Two damage to anything, and I will choose to do that, and then I can strengthen something for two. That's powerful. <laughs> I'll make you go to four, <laughs> and then I get to draw a card, which is ever so lovely. And yeah. my turn is over after I take the action of getting a free, uh, get, yeah. getting a token from my my, my investigator putting on my board early. Okay. I'm going to play Dr. Rose Tar and use the Night Phase ability, so I'm going to fight. Yeah, you get to do sucks. one damage mm -hmm. and move one investigator. Yeah, I'll do one damage here. And I'm going to move that one right there. Up one. Have fun with that. Um. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to pay two, so I'm going to change to get rid of the stronghold, because no. Okay. And that's it for this. Alright. Sure, whatever. I'm going to move this guy back, and I get another action, so I'll play this card, which I can buy a card, and I get a cultist. Yep. What card would you like to buy? Your options are, you can spend three to do one damage to all investigators in any chosen uh, row or column. Uh, you can. The next one is, you can choose one card from the discard pile and add it to your hand uh, and, and take an extra action. And then, of course, is that the damage one with sets, and then the final one is the one that was already before, swapping investigators on your board or on opponents if you spend. Mm. The second one. Choose a card and... It's uh, take a card from your discard pile, put it in your hand, and then take an extra action. You could basically play the same card twice on a round. Yeah. It's really good. I was surprised nobody take, took that. Uh, give me the currency for it. Excellent. Okay. And uh, you're moving your character on to over here now. Yeah. All right. You're up. I'm going to do the same action that Callie did, which allows me to get one token and then do a purchase okay wh what would you like it says everything is the same except for now this one here lets you do three damage and um reduce oh and we do and you'll lose a cultist every time you do that do it so it's three damage but you'll lose a cultist and the rest of them are the same swapping investigators doing a damage one damage plus the amount of sets you have and then the final one there is uh a damage to all the investigators in the row let me get the damage to all investigators in the row Damn it. Gosh, that pisses me off. Damn it. <laughs> and then I, I needed that swap one. you for that. Yeah, you, have to, you have to pay for it. Yep. You can put it there. And this one goes to my hand, correct? Yes. Alright. And then before my turn is over, I would like to use my use the ability to do one damage to this guy. Oh, uh, which one do you, you do? Okay, and here you go. Do one damage, yep. So I'm removing that one from my board. That will be the end of my turn. Hmm. <laughs> trying to be quiet with it, but it's just done. It's silent mode on top of the stream. <laughs> Three damage and it's not looking too bad yet. Yeah. That's pretty good. Got, we're I think I'll be okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm going like, to gain a cultist and then I'm going to spend one for this guy here. Well, I guess for this guy here. <laughs> oh, this is sour. What flavor is that one? Oh, it actually goes uh, my hand. Fruit, passion fruit. And then that's it. I'm done. Weed. Actually, I'll spend. I'll get rid of this guy too. I'll spend two cultists. Okay. okay. If I'm understanding this correct, I get to hit. Yeah, you know, spend one madness. 
What? If I'm understanding this correctly, I get to spend one madness to do one damage to one, two damage to a different one. Yes. Has to be separate. Yes. Okay. And then heal something else too for the rest of you. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll spend my one madness. Callie knows the game too off. I'm doing something. Oh, you can yeah. ask her. She's played it. Uh, I'm gonna pass. What? Uh, it's not your turn yet. Oh, I thought you were done. No. Um. Okay, I'm going to do... I thought you looked at me. <laughs> I'm going to do two damage to this and take this out. Do one damage to this. And I will heal this too. Oof. Since I you know, welcome, moved welcome, it back, Diana. I'm going to release it to mm -hmm. your for Thank you for it. doing the stream. And now I'm done. Josh is to all games like Callie is to puzzle games. It's a logic problem. <laughs> <laughs> your turn. I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to use the madness, and then I'm going to... Play that guy to do three damage to this one to remove it. Nice. Getting rid of those investigators. Mm hmm. Now we'll end my turn. Hmm. I'll play him to just remove this investigator for three. It's going to cost me one, though. Which should be worth it in the long run. All right, um, and then you, it's your turn, Josh. Pass. Kelly. No cards left. Passed. And then you passed as well. I no? will pass now. Is it worth playing this? I guess it is not. I guess it is not worth playing. Okay, so we will now move on. Uh, we're going to go to uh, moving phase. Move them all down. Anybody trigger anything? Nope. Okay, great. Uh, at outposts, you have three cards. You put in one. If you have more than three, you put in two. If you have more, or you have more than, uh, if you have less than six, you put in two. If you have less than nine, so you put two. So two just gets me one. Yes, you're always okay. gonna put in one unless you have none. Oh, that sucks. Can you hand me one of them? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, sw switch the time of day. And then we'll go. Good evening, Alex. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Uh, no fire tokens. We're good. Uh, everybody draws it. Everybody, oh, shuffle. Make sure you shuffle your deck. Or not shuffle your deck. Uh, put shuffle your discard. shuffle your discard. Put it on the bottom. bottom of your library. Yes. And draw one. And then draw one card. <sighs> now, since it's now daytime again, does the token move to me or does it stay on Kelly? No, it stays on Kelly. I don't think it really matters. Just first player. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it really matters. Um. Your miniatures come back up. Oh, I didn't use mine. I'm going to take a madness marker before I ended. Okay. Was that nighttime? Take one from the Hey, opponent. Lindsay. How's it going? I'll be nice. Welcome, welcome. I'll be nice. Friend of yours? Yeah. Huh. I haven't welcome. seen in a while. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us for for your, uh, for Josh, I suppose. Say hello. <laughs> Just hang That's out. That's how I got here. I joined for Josh. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you beforehand, but Josh introduced someone. I guess, I guess we have new investigators that are going to come oh, out. This is going to hurt. Two, three. One, Shit, two, one three. And then... One, two, three. I mean, no, thank you. No. Seriously. And then one, two, three for you. Hey, George, how you doing, man? Thank you for joining us. Staying healthy? Staying happy? I hope so. Look at a dragon over here. <laughs> Is that two on each? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And whenever you defeat a character that has a symbol on it, a, a, it has a um, diamond symbol on it. You will get a marker, a madness marker. Those are generally the higher strength investigators. And then your total sum. I have eleven again. I'm sure somebody will have twelve just so I get screwed out. Uh, I have nine. I have eleven. Seven. Me and Callie both get a madness marker. Uncle. You're welcome. Okay. And then Callie gets to go first. Okay, daytime. Yeah, Lindsay's literally known me since, what, first grade, kindergarten, something like that? It's been a long time. It's been busy. Last week I started my first class in my MBA program. Congratulations. Just got my PC, PCS shipment from Friday. I still have four boxes of games to unload and put on the shelf. That sounds Ooh, that's rather nice. Mm -hmm. I want five game, five, four boxes of games. I need... Damage. Oh, you don't want the Narlenthrope. Why? Because it only gives you one unless you're going to collect sets. Oh. I mean, I don't have 
that. You can also mm -hmm. spend a coin. You can also spend a madness to reshuffle a deck. Oh, I had the draw card. You can also spend madness to re reshuffle a deck as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I want. Yeah, I want some damage, but there's not a lot on there. Kindergarten thought so. <laughs> In fact, it might be all. You might be able to shuffle all decks. All the decks with one madness. You might be able to. I have to look. Uh, draw draw a card. Put the top card of from their discard pile on the bottom of the deck. Uh, put the top card of each god card on the bottom of the top of, of the pile. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna spend one. <sighs> Sorry, it makes it more I, work for my. No, I I have almost wanted. two sets of uh, of of no and throw, which is why I didn't want you to get it first of all, and secondly, because you don't even have a single set for it. Yeah. It would have literally just given you one damage, whereas me, I could have gotten three out of it. But that's okay, now it's on the bottom, so I'll never see it this game. Which means holding madness is pointless for me now. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. Okay. And it pay for two. it. Yeah. You have anything else you have to do? No. Great, your turn next. So with this one you have to use... You spend either two madness markers to get rid of it, or you spend two cultists. I will spend two cultists to... Remove it, and then I will play this guy for one damage on him, and I draw. A card. By the way, this means if you this means if you pass with your character not flip, used. used. Okay. And then I will use my character's ability to do an additional damage to remove to get rid of that one. Okay. And that will end my turn. This is to, I gotta buy a card here, I think. I really wanted that attack when you were looking at it. Well, the one I wanted? Yeah, the one. Oh, well, possibly, yeah. The one that had a whole bunch of attack on there. Minus two to somebody else, minus four. That's not helpful. I'm gonna spend a madness. Oh, you want me to hurry up? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm gonna. Move these okay. around again. I need to actually do some damage as well, personally. Yeah. Since it's day phase, uh, that ability to hit the entire Move row miniature onto doesn't activate now. Huh? Melts power card. That was a night phase thing. Move what? Okay. To hit an entire row or column. I'll take this. That was a night phase ability. I think yeah. that's my. Uh, I don't remember. My oh. option. Wait. I'll do a damage with my character. And I will spend three to do so. Wait, my guy should be on the far one, too. Yeah. Then who so bought from over here? No bought. one? I bought from over there. Okay. I haven't bought any yet. You haven't bought any cards yet? You're in trouble. My earlier one. No, well, I'm about to right now. Done? I'm done. Okay, yeah, I'm buying. So, <laughs> okay. So, Couple you want things. to, uh, you can place this and the top two cards from your discard pile. To the bottom of your deck, and then afterwards you can pass. Mm -hmm. This one here does a damage and makes somebody lose a cultist. That one over there, you can spend uh, is what is this, a dr minus X cultists. Uh, draw a blue madness. X equals the amount of blue madness in your pool. Okay, so you lose life equal to the amount of blue madness you have in your pool, and then you get a free blue madness. Yeah. I don't have any. Right and then now, the last so. one is you can go ahead and get rid of one of these for free. The little nasty outposts. Oh. For two. But and then the, I also, depending where I go, that gives me the, the day phase ability for each of those, so yeah. Wherever can, you go will give you one of the abilities for Yeah, it. so I can move one on my player board. I can draw one madness. I can, I don't know what that is. I explain, oh, that one is... Um, what's that symbol? Uh, <laughs> destroy an investigator that has one health, or at night you can destroy an investigator that has two health or less, but you lose two right cultists. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right. Nothing, you let me it, know when you're done. Yeah, none of it gets me any actual attack. I need an attack. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go for that one because I want the ability. Is do one damage, correct? 
during the day? Yeah. 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 Okay. So two, get one back. I'm just gonna let you keep the one, pay another one to get rid of this. You're paying what? So two for this and two to get rid of that. Okay. Um, and then I can kind of use the ability immediately. Sure. Okay. Wait, did and you? Where's your guy? <laughs> let you do a damage or something? Yeah. Okay. Let's take this one for one. Why not? We are all having a party on the damage dealer. Done. I want to spend a gem to do three damage, but I have to Outpost, do it to huh? different, different guys. So I'm going to go across this row here. And now you get to draw a card. And yeah, I need to get rid of my outpost, I think. <laughs> I get, might get hairy here. Um, There's a little typo here. I need to say add or something. Yeah, that means different country. They'll, they'll have all the. Dead. I've already talked. They'll have the language corrections. No. Okay. I have a card that allows me to do one damage to each. Yeah, that post sucks. Uh, one in a row. Does that row mean. R it says row or column. Row so or column. Either column or. Column. or column. So yeah, so it's either. Either or. Oh. I'm going to play that guy, and I'm going to do one damage to this entire column. Yep. Well done. That's it. Right. I'll play this. Let's go ahead and make this guy a little more challenging for you. Um, I also will do a damage to this guy here. And then I will spend a madness to put my miniature that was knocked down upright. And then I will do one damage to this guy here. Actually, yeah. You're I'm done. Either. Why would I do that? Okay, I have to... I don't have to pay anything to do this. I just do the ability, yes? Like, I don't have to pay to get this? No. It's okay, free. Cool. You've already paid for it. Okay, I'm just going to do How long do have you been doing this? this or gets is it shuffled, free to ask it goes... questions? No, feel free to ask questions. Oh, yes, please. Uh, this, we've been, uh, for our streaming, matter. we have been streaming for about three years. Um, me and Done. Kelly and Josh have been doing it for about almost three years. Uh, mm -hmm. Max is new. He joined us, but he was yeah. an avid watcher, and he wanted to start playing, so we invited him to play. Anybody okay. can play as long as they're close. I don't mind. Um, I'm gonna play my game. We Get played 7.30 to I 10, and now we do 6.30 <laughs> to 9.30. For the regular one. And this game here is called one Call of Madness, and it's currently on Kickstarter. Link in the description. Mm -hmm. It's a tower defense game. Took my guy down if you're familiar the... with H.P. Lovecraft, it's based on some of his characters, his writings. Wait, I'm one? trying to keep these guys from falling off the board, like Tetris, yeah. but the floor is lava. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is lava! And not like the game show on Netflix. Which is funny <laughs> because my friend Wade, who I used to work with in LA, he actually was a grip on the show. Him and Jamie both did grip work on the on floor is lava. lava. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Go ahead. There's a TV show I'm on in Netflix, actually. Uh, there's Well, there's two uh, reality TV shows, For the Love of Money, and then... Um, there's also I oh, still I think Ch Cherry Pop is still up on there, hmm. and Little Dead Rotting Hood was on there, which I actually got to. That's the one you're the were werewolf that yeah. you transformed. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I'm good. Go. This is pretty funny. All right, my last action is I can't deal with this, so I'm gonna spend a madness marker. I think it is. To it's not close to. I think it might even be over three years. To this guy here. Yeah, we guys were on that conversation a couple this. weeks ago. I think it's close to almost four years. Uh, I'm. I don't know if it's quite that long. Well, I said close, not mm. actually. Close. I don't really want to spend currency anymore, but I'm going to have to to get rid of this outpost. Yeah, I'm going to take a hit. I'm done. <laughs> yep. Fast. <laughs> Josh always shares, but I never log on. My friend Kevin has Call of Cthulhu. Ah, yeah, that's a great game. Yeah, um, and it keeps to wanting me to join. For more. Oh, heck yeah. So, I'm going to do one damage here. I also played that much fun. Why do both of these have twos? This sh this is a day phase. They should have only had one, right? Oh, they should. Oh, I really? Forget. Yeah, you oh, okay. Actually, here. So take take them all in your hand, shuffle them up, and then pick three and put them on. Okay. okay. See if I'm not watching. Okay. See what happens. I didn't even know what that was, but okay. Yeah, yeah I didn't you know that that was actually colors. a thing. Done. Yeah, you get during the day phase you get one, and during the night phase you get uh, two. Two. Okay. So the night phase is better for us as cultists. To get those investigators. Yeah, Gary, you've been around since the beginning, so yeah. 
Did you Definitely. Pass, no, I have not. I'm still deciding. I don't know whose turn it is. It would be my turn. Mm -hmm. What are the abilities on the on the buy cards right now? Um, right now, the available one is you can pay two. It'll let you do a damage, but you lose a cultist. Uh, and, and you can make somebody else lose a cultist. Um, you can... Oh, no, you lose a cultist. It's a damage, you My lose cult. a cultist, <laughs> but you get a free action. The next one is you can take a blue Magnus marker, and then you take damage equal to the amount of blue Magnus markers that you have. And the other one is you can remove an outpost for free. Let me get that one. Okay, it'll cost you two. Yeah. And do you, do you play in the card to let you do that? Yeah, sorry. And your character is... Uh, I think... What color what does he have? He's, he's the... He's the dude with the weird, fluffy hair. Okay. There you go. Too. Maya culpa. Maya culpa. What does that mean? I wish I knew. Um, My brain. It's a religious thing. It's not, okay. It sounds like a thing I've heard before. And the other one here. That's the. That's gonna be a night phase. Oh, it's, no, this doesn't have a night phase icon on it. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, supposed so to be though. That's the oh, it's a, oh, okay. The typo. Yeah. That's the one I was telling you was a typo. Yeah. Uh, yeah no. I pass. I already passed. Okay. Uh, How many cards do you need to discard pile? Four. Uh, so might as well play another one. I'll play one more. Yeah, you should play as many as you can then. <laughs> up to up to six. Okay. Good. Well, at that point, I might as well continue with that. Sour. Yeah. Sour. Mm -hmm. I'm if going it's not to beer. Oh. buy yeah. Yeah. This beer. from the same one that I just bought from. The, the one at the end. You want to buy? Were you gonna? Yeah. Hmm? Buy another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cost you three. Yeah, I already okay. put it in. Callie's turn? Uh, pass. And if we do up to six, it's still the same, right? It's it's multiples of three. So if you do three, you put one in. If you do six, you put two, two in. If you do nine, you put three in. And it's rounded up. So if you put seven in, that's three. I only have one card left, so. All right, well, mm. let me make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I've got five in there. Five. So, so I might as, one more. I might as well, yeah. make a difference there. But it'll make a difference for what you have in your hand for next turn. I'll do the two, and then I will do two damage to this one right here. And then I'll end my turn, which... No, we don't. Back to you, so... All right, so we're going to move all of our investigators. I'm going to take four damage because it says negative four on here. I'm also going to take four. I'm going to take three. Uh, I'm running low. The game ends when somebody has zero left. Zero. Cultists. Yes. <laughs> My fault for distracting. <laughs> oh no, uh, thank you. No, 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 I like to talk to people. You can go ahead and you guys leave as many comments as you'd like. Ask questions about the game, ask questions oh. about the stream. Yeah, seriously. It's, Distract uh, Mike from the no, game. No, we, we like the interaction <laughs> with the audience, so by all means, ask all you the questions you like. Win if Josh you likes it. Him. Josh is a. I, I say the words, but I won't. Talkative. He's very. He he enjoys discussion. <laughs> um, okay, so we've and yeah, move the rest of the dudes. Move all your dudes. Did any of you guys have madness markers on them? No. No. Okay. You mean uh, that hit uh, me in the? Defeated? Yeah. The ones that no. Oh, oh no no. The, the ones that the, the literally the ones we just had come off the board. Nope. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and add outposts. I'm going to add one. I had none. I had two. And, and then I so need two as well. Oh, sorry, yeah. Hey, Walters Kazaku, how you doing? How you Kazaku, how's it going? All right. Well done. Shuffle your discard pile, put it on the bottom of your deck. Nothing to do. Change the time of day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And draw one. Fire tokens? I need Nothing? to draw more. Draw a card. Yeah, I need to increase um. my draw. Uh, you can do that by spending madness that you do not have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. And then we're going to add new investigators. Investigators. These guys are going to get the two madness on them each. Yes, they will. Okay. It is nighttime. Josh, why don't you start grabbing the... Uh, three oh, yeah. and three. And then flip them over. Uh, give us your sum. I have oh. eight. I have eight. Seven. I haven't taken over yet. You need two more? And you need six? Yes, I need six. Seven, two, nine. Now you got a free madness marker. Take it. 
You are like burping like crazy. Beer, what do you want? All right, Mark, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking a look. I don't know. You burping literally. I'm going to move this microphone over there because you are not deserving. Have I even opened my mouth when I burped? I've Once. heard it. Oh, I've heard it. Still kept it suppressed. <laughs> uh -huh. Burp, burp, burp. Le beer, it's liquid bread. It's terrible for you. And it's then, part of the song, isn't it? No. <laughs> my it's better for me than that steal. stuff is. No, it's not. Don't forget to stand the guys up. That's right. Oh, yeah. Stand the guys up. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, this is looking rough. <laughs> yeah, this is going to start hurting bad. <laughs> All right, Callie, you're up. Okay, I'm going to spend a madness to draw a card. Aether Fields. I didn't say you could leave. You can leave. Thanks for watching. You're going to miss me stomping these guys out. <laughs> Mike, the ability that my guy is on right now, what does it do? Do a damage. Or do a damage and move an investigator at night. Spend two gems to get rid of this outpost. And, oh, that is true, but by how much is the two question? Cultist to get rid of this one. Oh. <laughs> and then I'll play um, one to move this guy up. Okay. And nighttime. Yeah, I'll play this one to do a damage here and strengthen somebody. Oh, my looks like you don't have enough guys down there. My board's filled. Yeah, like one You're hit. Middle yeah. red to five. Yeah. Really? You're going. I'm get, I'm going for you. What? I hit Josh before I, I hit you. I'm going for you. <laughs> Go ahead, Max. Yeah, he's the. One. I have. I look how much health I have. I don't have a lot either. Well, then you're gonna be <laughs> dying first. <laughs> Max has his thirty still. I know, which is why I was wondering why she yeah. didn't hit him. I'm going to use this guy to get rid of one encampment. A little more overwhelmed. So I'm going to get rid of that. Does he, though? Now he doesn't. He's the exact same <laughs> as me. All right, my turn. Yep. I'm looking at a lot. Another throw, which will let me draw two madness markers. And then I'll spend one to draw a card. And then I get an extra action. And I will play this. Which will See you later, Jason. let me spend this madness marker to do a damage to one of these guys, and I will choose to do a damage to this guy here. I will then um, move this guy here for four damage to Callie, but I'll also get this. I get to draw a card. And is there any other actions I want to take? Add one or more fire tokens to an opponent's... Okay, pass. So I can pass without using my miniature. I can add one or more fire tokens. Or I have to have at least seven cards in my discard pile. Oof. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Uh, night phase, so I'm going to do the, the bigger ability, obviously. I'm going to buy this card right here. <sighs> Move myself over. I'm the, the doctor with the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, in hand, I'm definitely going to use the ability, so I get to take one from the. Um, it costs you one less. The bag. I'm just going to oh. no, I'm just take one from the bag's knight. Oh, you're this, using this. that ability right now. Yeah, just a random one. I don't care what. Well, I mean, it is random. <laughs> no, no, take uh, choose one. Choose one from the bag. Mm. Oh, okay. Take one from an opponent or choose one from the bag. Okay. I'm not worried about color right now, so whatever. Okay. And then go ahead and lay this guy down. And then I also get to get one cultist back. Yes, please. You could just spend one less, too, than you were buying. Oh, how much did it cost me? Two? I don't know. You were the, What's in your oh, hand? Oh, four. Okay, yes. So actually, yes. It won't make a difference. I'll just put the five in. Let's take it one more. I have no idea what you did. I'll just cool. pretend like you did the right thing. You literally like went like triple backwards three, order. It's minus one. I, I don't Four. know. Okay, I, I I see the numbers, Josh. Okay. I just don't know what you did. It was too confusing. I'm, I'm this, okay. Um, my I'll do my ability. Are you got with the hat. Yeah. Okay, you, t you do you do a damage and move an investigator. Oh. I'll just I have to do a damage thing. Is this one? You only have one health left. Yeah. Okay. And I'll spend a gem to draw a card. Okay. 
If there are no more cultists to put on players' boards, I believe we take two damage for each cultist. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. I'll do this card. So action, I'll do this one again. Deal a damage. And heal something. And or strength yeah. something. Strength thing. The one. Huh? The, no, I'm gonna do. I figured I was already gonna hit him. Let's say pump the one. Not necessarily. He has cards. <laughs> See? <laughs> Whose turn? Be my turn. Go ahead. So I'm gonna use the three madness tokens uh. for this guy. Now I have two, two, and two when it comes to damages. Can I allocate those however I please, or they? Did have you to spend be two madness tokens for three? three? Yes. So you yes. spend three, and you can allocate them in three separate entities. They have to go to step four. Yes. Ah, that's the fun bit. Mm -hmm. So I'll put two to here. Okay. Two to this one, which will remove it, and two to this one, which will remove it. And I essentially got my madness tokens back. Good play. And then I want to flip my guy's ability over. Are you here? No, I'm here? at the end, yeah. To do one and then move. So I'm going to do one, one to remove this one for the damage. There's no damage. Oh, wait. One. One. You said during nighttime oh. it was Okay, you can damage. move you can move a guy on your, on your uh, player board, and then you can do one damage. This one here. Yeah, it's not removing. No, no, no. But I'm, he had one damage left, oh. so I damaged him, so he's gone. Yeah. yeah, move. Yeah, move an investigator on your player board, and then you can do one damage and strengthen a investigator. So I can strengthen any investigator. Um. Yes, you can move. It has to. You have to move it on your player board, though. Move an investigator on your player board, not on anybody else's. No, oh, okay. you can't move. Yeah, you can. Left and right. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't help me much. We're good. Did you strengthen somebody's investigator? No. You can choose anybody to strengthen you'd like. You just give somebody, just tell somebody plus one health and point at their investigator. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> retaliation! My turn? Yes. I'll play Shigotha, which is going to cost me one point. I can do three damage to something, and I'll do it to this. And then I will use my character ability to do one damage to this guy, which will give me a free madness marker because he's a big boy. And then I get to move one investigator. Oh, yeah, I forgot that some of them have the madness. Five damage. For me? Yeah. I haven't even hit you. Five damage. Because Callie, I can't hurt, but you, I could. And but he gets a uh, madness, right? Uh, yes, he does. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about that. I, I've said it a couple times now. Oh, yeah. I'm done. Chris is wondering what the player count and the average uh, game This time is has. one to four players, and the average game time is probably about an hour. It plays, okay. It's like an extra ten minutes per player, depending on if Josh is playing with you yes. or not. All of the questions. Literally the first time seeing the game, every time. And Mike thinks he explains com everything completely. I do. Doesn't. I do. I do this it's, for a living. I'm pretty much amazing than, at it. Yeah, explaining everything and like comprehending everything. <laughs> Pay one madness to deal two damage to this. Check that out. Done. Callie's turn. How many guys do I got in here? Three? I'm going to pass. Okay. Now, what can you use the madness for in general? Draw a card, pay an ability on a card. You can refresh, you can draw a card, you can yeah. get rid of those, and you can... Something to do with your uh, discard pile, what you do. And it should be actually on here, I think. I'm going to pay mm -hmm. two to get rid of this. Well, I'm saying it should be on the player reference, but I don't know if it is. Draw a card from your deck, put the top card from your discard pile um, onto the bottom of your deck. So if you don't want this to come, if you yeah, if you want this to go down, you can, um, and you can put the top card of each god card. 
on the bottom, so you can get new ones. And then if I, since I paid two of my cultists to get rid of my token dude, can I still use a madness draw card, or is that? As long as the madness pay it. Yeah, why not? I'll draw a card. See what I get lucky. Okay. You mm -hmm. done? Not yet. Why? What else can you do? You didn't play a card yet. I hadn't played a card, so since I drew a card, uh, now I can play. Okay. I'm going to buy and get one cultist. Well, don't get one. Just reduce one oh, for the cost yeah. of buying. So, so I have to just pay one cultist? Cause I'm oh, gonna thank you, Katie. Serpent. Yeah, I've lost about 45 pounds. 40 pounds. Something like that, yeah. I've lost a little bit of weight. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. Um, I'm passing. I'm going to pay one to draw. I don't have a lot of health left. Katie, hello. <laughs> There's no way to move this back. There's too many behind it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do one damage to this thing and I'm going to uh, move one we're doing night phase since you came after me I'm just gonna move this it doesn't affect one. me at all by the way okay. you shouldn't do that why because it literally doesn't affect me at all once we get your retaliation is up. pointless right now when you can actually hurt max moving that up isn't that gonna hit you it doesn't matter if he doesn't anymore. get it destroyed by the time the turns over he's already passed I'm uh, with that. Then you say you're done. Passed. I'm gonna pass. Okay, round's over. No. Over. I haven't passed. Go ahead. Pan draw one. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm screwed anyway, so. Hell yes, okay. Uh, I'll pay the madness to do the secondary ability. Do one damage to this. Two damage to. You killing this? Yeah. Two damage to that. And then strengthen something by two. Move the three up to five, please. This one? Yeah. Yeah, because I killed the thing. Done. I'm You're turning in. I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pass now. Screw it. All right. Uh, move all investigators. So I lose five. Crap. I take four. Four for me. Yeah, I got a lot coming down the line. <laughs> and make sure they move all the rest of them. And I'm going to need two of these guys. And then add outposts. I'm going to add one. Then. I need one outpost. Thank you. You're welcome. And then uh, flip the time of day. Daytime. Daytime. These guys come on up. Make sure you shuffled your discard pile and put it in the bottom of your deck. Oh, yeah. Draw a card. And then we're going to add some investigators. We're getting close to it now. People are running out of health, I'm sure. Getting low. One, two, three. Three. Three and three. And then flip them over and give me your totals. Four, four. Oh, crap. And two, so ten. Eleven. Nine. Nine. I get a free madness marker. Okay. Oh, okay. They face a one, one each. One madness yeah. each, yeah. And then, yes. Yeah, I'll deal with that. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Three and three. All right, Callie, you're up again. Okay. I'm going to definitely spend my madness. Do one damage to three different guys. So All right, guys, speak here. here. Oh, no one can hear. Yeah. Three damage to. One damage to three different guys. One, two, 
two. Yeah, three. <laughs> and then uh, draw a card. And I'll, I'll use my um, dude there and do one more damage. My turn? Yes. I'm going to use the bottom ability on this guy and put one of the flame tokens on oh, Josh. Sorry, I forgot. I gotta I'm gonna spend two two to get rid of this. Very important. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this guy to put the flame token on Josh. Every round you take a damage. Okay. Retaliation. Anything hurts. else? He burned the cultist. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I I will buy a card. I don't wanna buy this guy here. It's gonna cost me two. Which I'm sure is gonna be worth it in the long run. Um, I will also spend two to get rid of this. The abilities the miniatures are on are each of the gods that we're drawing different cards from. And each one has a base ability to either day phase or night phase. Yeah, so basically when you... Go ahead, you take your turn. Okay. When you buy a card, uh, you can choose any of them down here. And then you're going to place your miniature on the corresponding god power. And then, as a bonus action on your turn, you can turn your character over <laughs> and <laughs> utilize that god's power once every round. They'll stand back up at the end of... Uh, the beginning of the next round, and you can then utilize it again. If you buy a different card on a different god, you'll move that to that power. And there's multiple gods, too. We're using four of the five that I have. There might be more if you look at the campaign, though. I'm not sure. But they all, all the abilities function in a different way. Yeah, namaste from India. Thanks for being with us. Spend a gem for this one. Namaste. Thank you for coming by. Do a damage and move a guy back. And I'll draw a card. Welcome to the stream. Right. We'll take a look at the game Call of Madness. I'm going to use a madness token to draw a card. Okay. Then I am going to use this card, which gives me a damage, damage, and then a reinforce. I'm going to reinforce Josh's middle one. There's literally no point. There's mm -hmm. always points. Well, there, there might be a point. He doesn't know. We don't know what card you have in your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one damage to this one. I've never seen anything more than it. three or a single. Then I'm gonna do one damage to this one. Then I'm gonna use my ability to do an a it uh, for daytime. It's do one damage. This guy here. Yeah. You will no move a character on your player board. Oh, I'll move the character. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. No. Nope. Turn is done. Cool. I'll play my Narlanthrotep, which will do one damage plus one for every set I have. Currently, I just have the one set, so that will be two damage. One and two. And then I'll use my character ability to do one more damage to it. Take it out. And that is going to give me more sets for next time. Oh, I get to draw a card. I'm done. I will draw one blue out of the bag, please. Oh, you want one blue? Yeah, Just take please. It. That's right. I'm not wearing one. Uh, the current abilities are oh, okay. do a damage, or if it's night, do a damage and move. Uh, a investigator, any one, any board. Uh, this one over here is you can destroy an investigator that has one yeah. health, or at night this that has two back. health, but you'll take two, da two. You'll lose two currency. Can this one lets you gain it? madness, or you can take it from an opponent slash the bag. And then this one here lets you move a character on your player board, or you can at night move a character on your player board and then do a damage and then strengthen something. But remember, it only lets you move on your player board as opposed to anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of got like a, a drawback during the day, but it's really good at night. Mm -hmm. We've also got secret objectives we're trying to achieve by the end of the game. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to spend one madness to do three damage. I'm going to do three damage to this guy right here, moving him, and that will end my turn. I think it helps that you get, like, literally 
no investigator power every round. We, me and Josh get like 11 and 12. You're like, five? What the heck? <laughs> How am I going to deal with seven, this? Seven, seven, and then a nine. Seven is low. That's low. Yeah, I had a 12 one round. I've so. never had a seven. The lowest I had was a nine. <laughs> and then two 11s and a 12. Um, all right, my turn? Yes. All right, I can strengthen two new two damage. Uh, let's do two damage to this guy. Who do I want to strengthen? You Go for it. You the dead. <laughs> uh, do I want you to rue How many cards are in your hand? Yeah, don't no, show me your card. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Callie, would you like me to make you rue the day instead? What's this guy doing over here with only one health left? Just has one health left. No, 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 no. no. Strengthen okay. by two. I get to draw mm -hmm. a card. Damn. And I get to take an, uh, uh, a I get to take a madness from an investigator in the pool. It's a great card. I'm gonna play this, get to shuffle this, put it on the bottom. So I have nothing in there, and just to see if I even want to do anything next turn, I'm gonna pay this to draw one in my turn. Oh, and just cause yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen here, so I want to get rid of that. <laughs> Can we put another fire on Josh's oh. board just just for an example of how it works? <laughs> <laughs> well, Josh ignited me right after I ignited him, so. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm passing. I guess Callie's the only one that needs fire then. No. Alright, would you like to go? I'm gonna pass. And you sitting you. all over with all the madness. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but my board is the most full. Or actually, no. Is it? Except for you, but don't worry, it will be after your turn. You need to use your ability. I'm going right? to use my ability before I pass, so I'm going to move this guy If up. you don't pass, though, you have to play a card, right? Who passed with a miniature up? Nobody? I haven't. Well, I was about to, but then I said I was going to use the ability to move my move that stoot up before I pass. I, I, I said you. I literally said who, and you are like, mm -hmm. I didn't. I'm like, well, I'm asking who didn't do it. <coughs> um, well, I don't know who did, so I was eliminating one option. And one or more fire tokens to an opponent using uh, cards action. Who gave the first fire token away? You did? Yeah. He did. And that's yours. Uh, huh, cool. Yeah, we gotta be looking at Destroy two outposts during one turn. That's not too, that's not too bad. All right. Oh, I done this that one's gonna be buy a card. Okay. Since that wasn't up, since like, technically that should have been done for his, I'm can I still pay two to get that now? Because <laughs> that wasn't up, it should have been on my turn. I have two apples. We well, yeah, had. He had one right there. Two. Well, if I'd known I was there, I want points. Yes. I, I don't care. Okay. Then yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna just keep doing. We'll just keep doing this until move the investigator in the right column of an op any it. opponent's board to yeah. his headquarter. Oh, so okay. if anybody moves this investigator from here to here, uh, they can get this card. Can anybody have done that on their previous turns? No. Or do you want All right, to? Great. <laughs> I mean, I would want to do it if I could. I'm done though. That was my action. Uh, I've already played four cards, so I'm in it. Yeah, well, I'm, I can avoid another one, but yeah, why not? Day phase, you can uh, avoid getting any of them put in. No, I can't. You have no no cards in your discard pile. I'm about to get hit for all this. Pass. Have you passed, Callie? Mm -hmm. I already passed. passed. Well, I'm not passing. <laughs> okay, this is a, a red one, which means... Oh, Red Cultist? Uh, another player. Oh, makes somebody else lose a life. Ooh. Lose a life. And also I'll do a damage to this guy. I can take another action, so I'm going to have to spend this guy here. So I can draw a card just so I can actually do that. <laughs> I will spend a green to then play this card. They will let me do two damage as opposed to the one. And I'll take these, and this guy's going to dump it to crump it, and that's the end of the, my turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, you almost had seven. I will pass <laughs> now, unfortunately. I think you go for yeah, seven, you can get your three you get an ability. I don't know why we're telling my <laughs> how to get points. It, yeah, but it's but it's worth. It gives me two points at the end of the game. An extra Each output. cultist is worth a point at the end of the game. How many cultists am I going to lose for doing that? It's an extra outpost. When do outposts mm -hmm. come? After moving. I have to move these all down. 
And then you have to choose. I'm only going to have one space. I'm already going to take damage. No, I don't want to do that. It's literally not going to benefit me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pass. That's my play, I think. So that's the actually, end of this round. Actually, you know what? I have to spend these guys. And I will get Two. rid of this outpost Sarah. so that I don't lose actual points. Okay, and now we're all going to move our investigators. What do we do with the madness on them? You get them all. Oh, okay. Not you can't get you don't get the bonus though for because you didn't destroy yeah. that dude. But you do get all of those. Oh, and also you get a, a ton of wonderful effects. So, uh, which are hmm. these all new? Yep. Can anybody else get any of these for the characters getting through? No, I do not have gem. For each green one that went through, put one outpost on your player board. <sighs> Let's get rid of those. Uh, for each blue one, your investigator gains three strength. I can only put two. Uh, you take two damage for each one you can't. <laughs> For each blue one, your investigators gain three strength. So that's extra three um, damage for each. All. For each blue one that you took from the investigators that got through, you're going to take three extra damage. So you should take all okay. the damage from the investigators, whatever that sum was. Yeah. Then you're going to add two for every outpost you couldn't place. Or and then you're going to add three for every blue one that you gained. And then finally, Wait, for what? each. So he takes six more damage because of the blue you took. No, I thought you were saying you know they get stronger. No. Okay. The, the three, investigator that got okay. through gains three strength, meaning that you're gonna take three damage for each one. Okay. And then how many reds got through? One. You get one fire token for each red one that went through. And anybody else get any tokens that went through? No. Okay. All right, and now move all the rest of them if you haven't. Okay, and then add outposts, and I'm going to have to add two. So if I would have added one more, yes, I would have gotten those two, uh, two points, but I would have taken two damage, which is and now net Now I take two damage from the two. Now you take two damage for each one you can't put on your board. Or so we take one so you, took, you took four then? I can only, no, there's only one I couldn't put on the board for these. Oh, for just now for your discard pile? I had no discard pile. So you, for each green gem that you gained, you should put one outpost on your board. One, two, three. You already paid third. Okay, and then you're supposed to take. You put. You're supposed to put two more for each set of three you have in your discard pile. How many I had no discard pile. Okay. Yeah. Um, and for the fire tokens, we take one. Now for each one. we're getting there. So we add all of our outposts. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna flip the time of day. And then we're gonna resolve fire tokens. For each fire token you have, you lose a life. I already did. Beautiful. Uh, then you're going to draw a card. Uh, well, make sure you shuffle your discard pile up on the bottom of your deck. We're getting there. <laughs> Callie, how much health do you Dave. have? Oh, night face. Okay. Oh, I wonder what how many a few little guys are over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you draw your card. I am. This is not what I wanted. Yeah. It's not what I wanted. Okay. Um. And then after we draw, we're going to add to investigators. Because, yeah, I needed that. We get extra gems. Oh, there are the rest of them. Mm -hmm. I think there's quite literally just enough to put on all four players. players. Boards, yeah. yeah. Which I guess would make sense then. It reduces on cost. Yeah, but if you accidentally lose one of them. One. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Three Thank you. and three. Thank you. All right, and then it's night, so there's two on each of those. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ten. Two, two, and four. Damn it. Ten as well. Ten. Eight. I have eight. Oh. I'm losing. How are you gonna do so much First damage? Time. I don't have damage cards. We're running out of little tokens too. Mm -hmm. We're running out of little madness too. Josh isn't spending his. That's why. <laughs> I just got them. No, Mike yeah, is the one yeah, hoarding. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, I quite. I got those because I just took all those hits. Yeah. I quite literally am hoarding for a reason, though. Mm -hmm. For your ability. Yeah, but he has to draw that. Like little baby birds. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Oh, no, Callie needs two more. Oh, yeah, two more. Cool. 
I literally don't have two more to give you. Okay. I'll be spending in just a minute. Can, <laughs> I, can I just spend one now to give her, and then I'll draw a card? Because I'm going to do it anyway. When you draw, you just get... Well, yeah, when you draw, you can just get one. Okay. And you don't normally get an extra gem for for tying, but we don't have one. So you can spend one on your turn if you'd like. You all get a free bonus spend. Okay. Right now. Okay. Kelly. My bonus spend, I'll draw a card. Draw a card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do the same, essentially. I don't like that one anymore. <laughs> you guys still watching? See who is going to win? I don't like any of these. What's up, Jojo? I, I, don't, I don't know who's going to win. I think Callie might win. Um, no, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't have enough damage in my deck. Yeah, look, at, I got my entire board is now completely filled. Same. Okay. Night phase. Actually, we're exactly phase. equal. We have two um, outposts. Okay, there's only one with damage, so... You got a better position for your <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, everything is so much health. Okay. Right. One there. How much health do I have? And then I'll have? strengthen one. Mac, you got two. I'm oh, so screwed. Going on here. <laughs> 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 too much going on. What are you talking about? Look at the boards. They're full. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You got... Uh, you got um, more benefits, I think, going in there. And then I'll use, oh, my dude's ability. Yeah, yeah. And so they're all alive. And do again. one damage. And okay. Remember, you can actually push people. You have a knight. Did you move a guy off, too? Oh, I can move a guy off, too. My board, Josh's board, Josh's board, or No, no, even oh, that's two damage, right? One damage. Oh, here, right? Yeah. It's one damage and move a guy. Oh, okay. It's only 2 p.m. I always hoping Michael wins when he plays. Well, you're in luck, because I think we're going to win this one. As long as uh, as long as long Max doesn't blindside me somehow, I think I got it. What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. I'm saving my Max, madness. Go ahead and take damage there. Hey, I got this. We'll see. I could be off. Thank you, Kelly. I oh. want to share a little bit of damage with you. And... No idea. Unfair to vote, but now I'd say no, that I'm personally. I need to get rid of this. <laughs> You will say that person. You think person will win? I think person will win as well. Person being me. <laughs> and Josh is gonna lose though. He's got one token, which means the highest amount of health he can have is ten. Ten max. <laughs> I All don't right. think he has ten, but he might. Can you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna pay four to remove both of these. Okay. Okay. So that's a thing you can do. And which one was it that just gives me the one for removing two? I already took it. Oh, he yeah. already took it. Ah, never mind then. It's not a bad thing to get rid of. It's not a bad mm. thing to get rid of. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. bad. Then let's see here. Past 11 p.m. for Emma. Ooh. You have an idea of what you want to do on your turn based on the cards. <laughs> the one to three cards you probably yeah. have in your hand. No, yeah, I know. I'm going to pay one madness. No, we'll give it a draw. She'll take every little bit he can get. I'm going to do two damage to this one. Not worried about madness right now. Mm. How do you kill all your things? Yeah. And I will Find kiss all the all I just put a here, I? <laughs> No, you guys gotta remember, I got a bunch of small numbers. Mm -hmm. Anything so else? It's like no, that would be it. great to buy right now. Uh, I'm gonna play this guy. Actually, the first mm -hmm. thing I'm gonna do is do a damage. Drop this down. And move something. I'm gonna do a damage to something. I don't even know where to start with your board. This one here, I guess. And then I'll play this guy. It'll let me do another damage. Um, and then it'll let me put my dude upright. Mm -hmm. And I'll have, to put, I'll have to put it on him, but I'm already there. And then I'll do one more damage. Take it out. Spend my thing I just literally got so I can draw a card. And then I'm going to end my turn, hoping this is some use. Okay. Night phase, I'm gonna do one damage to this thing. And oh, actually, sorry, this guy also lets me strengthen something. Uh, far right, dude. On bottom, bottom, bottom. bottom one. This one? Yeah, that's the one. Alright, yep. This is gonna move up on you. This guy's gonna move up yeah. on you? Yeah. Take five. Hey, I, I'm, I'm checking something else. Yeah. Okay. I won't shoot. Uh, in that case, then I will spend one to draw, which you're going to need there. Yeah, thank you. And. Yeah, good. And I also take a. I gained a red, so I get a fire token. Mm. One fire token. 
Is that any time you kill them too? No, any time it goes below. Okay. Yeah, it's just when you it gets through. Gotcha. Wait, are you done? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move something twice. Oh, that's rude. Nice. <laughs> so you're going to take a fire. <laughs> so you're going to take an extra three damage, and you're also going to take an extra fire token. I see how it is, Cal. <laughs> yeah, I figure I'm dying this turn anyway, you're so I'm going to do whatever much. I can. <laughs> you only think I'm winning too much. <laughs> But that's just because you can see my board easier than anybody else's. Um, You're not hiding your, your life total. I'm also doing that for the camera as well. So you can see it. Do you get your five? Mm. Yep. Whose turn? It would be my Thing. turn. Oh. That's about serious. So nighttime ability, do one damage and then move something. So let's see here. I'm going to do one damage to that. And Josh, you're going to move that one down. Such a waste. I'm dying. I'm literally dying this turn anyway. I, <laughs> I want to make sure you were going to die. Uh, you get another you fire token. You really don't need to. And you okay. get four damage. <laughs> not the smart move if you want to win. I'm Have not, you seen his I'm board? Fun. What do you mean, my board? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like cultists over there. Mm -hmm. I'm having some fun. And I mean, ones nice. do you think are there? <laughs> I might not have a single 10 in here, which means the highest I can possibly have is 20. <laughs> and he's got, he's I'm, showing 17. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my player's ability to do one oh. damage. Uh, this one here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm move sure. a character on your board. But the game ends as soon as one. You still have to move a character on your board first. The game ends as soon as one person is out? Yes. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. So. Killing Josh early is nice. Yeah. For you. For me too. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know if Max is winning right now or not. I have no idea. I don't. I haven't looked at my life. And then I you can potentially in the game right now. Then can I and I strengthen something? Well, the round will still finish that. Yeah. The last bit is strengthen something. Yeah, you put. Some, give some eight plus one. Just in case Callie's got some secrets. She may have three tens. I don't know how much life she's actually lost. I've been keeping track. You can be like a dark horse and Go secretly ahead. win. I, think so. I, I feel like I'm winning, but that's only because I have no idea if I am winning or not. Um, I'm going to play this. I have to spend... Oh, that was a three. Here's my one. <laughs> I have to spend one to do this. So I do three damage. Get rid of this dude. Um, and then I'm going to... Win. I'm just having fun playing this. This is a... It's dramatically this. different style of game than what I'm used to. Yeah. So. Uh, I, oh, I also am going to spend two of these just in case shenanigans happens. I'm going to remove this. I don't know if Josh is going to try and make me move one of my dudes over. <laughs> He's out for blood. I'm done. Pay one to draw a card. <laughs> is there a limit to how many times I can go out and turn? No, he has been on a losing streak. You're right, Emma. I don't know why. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe if I had rules better explained to me or something, I don't know. Hey, the hey, same rules get explained to me as they and, do to and you. And look at him. just up. fine. You could come over earlier and read the rules. You yourself. could show up one one before five minutes one. before the stream. And the blue, what blue do you again? Blue gives you blue, an extra three damage. Three, damage. three bonus damage to you. On top of the four, so seven. How the same she's... So she's got a boatload of big ones in there. No, you do! No. How much is that? A turn! She's That's my Max. last 10, though. Team, team? Get That's her. my last 10. She's lying. Hey, she's lying. She's going to do three of them. Hey, just remember. She was looking if for John, a five, and she couldn't find no. her. Have, you just, already attacked the last player, your last place player. No, so these are too low to make it to seven. To make the game end. Not what it is. <laughs> the game ends when the first if player goes winning, out. Though, and right now, I don't think you are. Uh -uh. Like this game is really place. close. Are you done? I just checked my points. Yeah, I can only put one card, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there's other things. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to choose a card from my discard pile, add it to my hand here, <laughs> and then action, I'll play it to move something twice. Are you going to move this guy? Oh, yeah. yeah, one's more four. I take another burn, and I take four damage. Wow. I'm, go I'm coming for you now. That's... <laughs> You've hit me a bunch of times this game, actually, and I've only messed with you once. 
<laughs> I'm debating no, on if I want to. Like yeah, she's the only one with no burn tokens. <laughs> How many times have you hit max? At least twice. Uh -huh. No, about three times. three times. I'm getting you now. <laughs> I'm getting you. That's what's happening. I'm going to pass. Well, actually, no. I'm going to... One yeah, that's right, Gary. That's what that's what Josh do, uh, Josh does. He tries to make sure that I lose, but and he does he does succeed at that. But he also loses in tandem. I wasn't going for you to begin with. I was going for Cali, but then you hit me out of nowhere. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> this is random. Pick somebody. I'm gonna pass now. All right, I am gonna play this card here. Let's me draw, but I'm also gonna do a damage to something. I'll do a damage to this. I will also move something. You know, I should have done that. I should have What's passed mean? with my dude still. If you can move, I can oh, help. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> that's really mean. That's three. That's five damage plus three. I like that. <laughs> you don't say. Ah, <laughs> 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 All for publicizing the damage of one thing. I've been going back and forth a bit. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll spend these two as well to get rid of this. Sense. All right. Okay. Night, Gary. Take it easy, dude. Good night, night, Gary. No going to bed. I didn't <laughs> say you could go to bed. I'm done. Okay. How many cards back right now? One, two, three. Oh, no, it's a, it's oh, I made a goof. I might okay. be able to actually clear my board this round. I think it's possible. <laughs> it would cost me everything, and I would prop. And the game was the game ends anyway. It doesn't really matter if you clear your board or not. Yeah. Why are you looking at my board? I'm not looking at your board. Why are you looking at over here? Get out of here. It is night phase. You don't want to be buying things. You don't have enough light. I literally can't. <laughs> I literally can't. Which means he probably has Which means that one or two. That your burn is going to end. Let me, see, let me check the end. I already right knew now. that. Let me check the end. That's why yeah, Max moving this was literally a, a point. Game ends move immediately when dead. one player has no more cultist tokens in their headquarters. Okay, immediately. Yeah, immediately. All players reveal their left cult tokens and their points, add the number of cults uh, in achievements. So we won't have to go through the round setup. Ouch. So I actually you don't want to clear my board. I want to make you guys suffer at this yeah, point. Yeah, you want to keep playing cards on this at this stage. Don't finish me off yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can help you. Um, okay, so I'm going to do two damage to this, one damage to this. Kill that oh, off. You have a vaccine, huh? Good for you. Yeah. Let me know how it is, and then maybe and I'll take it. And strengthen two. Well, it's going to all of the medical pr uh, needs to win. I have one personnel first. And this is almost place. over. Yeah, we're at the end. This is Josh's. Uh, this game is literally over as soon as Josh yeah. dies. <laughs> Which all you Done. have to do is poke Pull him, and he is going to die. Or something. Callie. Oh, uh, try to save myself. You could have killed Josh right now. I want Josh to die after know, the investigators move. I need. I need to keep him alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I need to play one more card. I actually can, can play. Can I just end it? I don't know. Just end it. Uh, well, I don't know if it will end it. No. Then. If you kill, he's gonna take six damage. Uh huh. Unless he's got a ten there. I do not. <laughs> okay. He can't. He I just can't said I couldn't buy. buy. I literally can't afford to buy. Thing, there's a four that yeah. will kill him and end the game. Can you damage Michael anymore? I already passed. Oh. I'm out. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, so, no. you have a choice. You can don't end kill the game. Josh. Please. Don't do yeah, that. Why? I don't want you to hit me more. How do you know I'm not going to hit him? I don't, my card can't hurt for? you. It's easier uh, to damage Callie than it is yeah. to damage Michael. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. We're doing it. Moving one here. Okay. Kills me. I have one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Max did what he did because it literally didn't matter. Hey, what? me doing what I did allowed Callie just to kill you right now. All right. There's a mid, there's a madness. With as low as no, as low as low as this was already. Right. No, I had so, three. It so, didn't matter. So the game ends immediately when one player has no more cult tokens in their headquarters. All players reveal their left over cultist tokens. I have fourteen, so Max had more than me. Zero. I had seven, uh, seventeen. Yeah, and then. Um, Add the number of cultists oh, left to the yeah. points achieved from your goal cards. So you check your goals. Nope. And there goes my phone. Have at least three cards with attack. That means like in your deck. Yes. Okay. So I have. I do have three cards that let you draw a card. Oh, 
I thought I had three of these. I did not. No. Yep, this one is I got useless it. for me. Oh, no, I got this one. That's so okay. I got that. And then have you one have... of each of the gods. I didn't have three of one god. One, I did have destroyed two in a turn, though. I did have at least six god cards. Oh, I didn't I did actually get, get the action. serpent. I yeah. thought I did buy it. No. Oh, I say missed it. Oh, I missed card. one. I bought okay. three of the serpent, which is probably why you couldn't end the game. Oh, I, no, I, I, just need, I just need to buy one, yeah. All right, so my total is... 22. So I only got 16. Nine, what? 11. You got 13. all of yours? I got 30. Did you get Let me see them all. Tell me what they all are. Have two got have two, at least two cards from different gods. I have three different ones. Wait, wait, wait. Have at least Have at least two card Oh, two cards from two different gods. So two and two. Yeah. Two and two. Okay, so sorry, I don't get that one. Okay, I'm like, that's five yeah. points. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the equivalent that's of how hard mine was. Yeah. I have at least three cards with a cost of three. Three, three, and three. Uh huh. Be the first player to pass. Yep. Add one or more fire tokens to an opponent using card action, which I did to Josh. Yep, yep. Four, so, five, six, so seven, eight. Yeah. Nine, eight, ten, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh, no, oh. then don't we add nope. these? Nope. Nope. Oh, nope. Twenty-five. I got 11. So I had 22. 25, 22. No, the, 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 the tide is based on madness. And I had. Mm -hmm. Oh, the seven. ties on madness. I had seven. I, I had eight. eight. I spent four, however, to get rid of the cards I didn't need to yeah. get the, the tokens. Because I, I didn't think it would come down to a super tie. But I was thinking. Yep, you got it. You got it by um, three points. 